Eric always wanted to own a bar. He loved the energy, the music, the people, the vibrant atmosphere that seemed to bring everyone together. He dreamed of creating a space where everyone felt welcome, a place where strangers could become friends over a drink. After years of saving every penny he could, he finally had enough to make his dream a reality. He found the perfect spot, Marguerite, the Slotel boss, a charming location with so much potential. It was a cosy, inviting space that seemed to call out for laughter and good times. Eric poured his heart and soul into renovations, spending countless hours painting, decorating and perfecting every detail. He was so close to realising his dream and the anticipation was electric. The grand opening was a huge success with friends, family and new patrons filling the space with joy and excitement. People loved the bar's warm atmosphere, the carefully curated music and the sense of community it fostered. Eric was living his dream, serving drinks, sharing stories and watching his vision come to life. He had created something truly special, a place that felt like home to so many. But fate, it seems, had other plans. The news of a global pandemic began to spread and uncertainty loomed. Just a few months later, the world changed. The bar, once filled with life, now stood empty due to lockdowns and restrictions. News of a virus spread across the globe. It started as a whisper, a distant concern, but quickly grew into a roar that no one could ignore. The virus was relentless, spreading from one country to another with alarming speed. Countries began to shut down. Borders were closed, flights were cancelled, and cities that once buzzed with life became ghost towns overnight. The world was in a state of shock. Fear and uncertainty filled the air. People donned masks, hoping to protect themselves and their loved ones. Grocery store shelves were emptied as panic buying set in. The sense of normalcy was shattered. Like countless others, Eric's bar was forced to close. It was his pride and joy, a place where people gathered to unwind and share stories. Now, it stood empty and silent. His heart sank as he locked the doors. The weight of the uncertainty was heavy on his shoulders. He wondered how long this would last and if his bar would ever reopen. The laughter and chatter of his patrons were replaced by an eerie silence. The bar, once filled with life, now felt like a hollow shell. The memories of better times echoed in the empty space. He had no idea when or if things would ever be the same. The future was a vast unknown and the uncertainty gnawed at him every day. The days turned into weeks, then months. The pandemic dragged on. Each day felt like an eternity and the hope for a quick resolution faded with each passing moment. Eric tried to stay positive. He refused to let despair take over. He focused on what he could control and used the time to make improvements to the bar. He used the time to clean and make improvements. He painted the walls, fixed the bar counter and organised the shelves. It was his way of holding on to hope. But the financial strain was mounting. Bills piled up. The revenue that once flowed steadily had dried up and the expenses kept coming. The pressure was immense. The weight of it all began to crush him. The uncertainty, the financial strain and the isolation were overwhelming. He felt like he was fighting a losing battle, but he knew he had to keep going. Eric wasn't alone in his struggles. Businesses everywhere were closing. People were losing their jobs. The world was in crisis. Eric felt a deep sense of responsibility. His dream had become a burden. He had to find a way to keep the bar afloat. He had to find a way to survive. 
he applied for government assistance. He reached out to his landlord. He did everything he could to cut costs, but it wasn't enough. The pandemic had taken its toll. Eric was facing financial ruin. As if the pandemic wasn't enough, Eric's health began to deteriorate. He was diagnosed with a chronic illness. The news hit him like a ton of bricks. He felt exhausted, defeated. The illness made it difficult to work. His dreams of running the bar seemed to slip further away, but Eric refused to give up. He was determined to fight for his health and his business. He knew he had to dig deep. He had to find a way to keep going. Section five, the weight of debt. The financial strain became unbearable. Eric was drowning in debt. He couldn't sleep, he couldn't eat. The stress was overwhelming. He felt like a failure. He had risked everything for his dream. Now it seemed like it was all falling apart. But even in his darkest moments, Eric held on to a glimmer of hope. He repeated a motto to himself, a mantra to keep him going. This too shall pass. He had to believe that things would get better. He had to keep fighting. Section six, finding strength within. Eric found strength in unexpected places. His friends and family rallied around him. They offered words of encouragement. They helped him with errands. They reminded him that he wasn't alone. Their support gave him the strength to keep going. Eric also found solace in his community. People who loved his bar sent messages of support. They shared stories of how much the bar meant to them. Their words touched Eric's heart. They reminded him why he started this journey in the first place. Section seven, a glimmer of hope. As the pandemic began to ease, restrictions slowly lifted. Businesses started to reopen. Eric saw a glimmer of hope. He knew it would be a long road to recovery, but he was determined to rebuild. He had come too far to give up now. He cleaned and sanitized every inch of the bar. He put up social distancing signs. He was both excited and terrified to open the doors again. He wondered if anyone would come. He wondered if he could make it work. Section eight, the road to recovery. The grand reopening was a success. People were eager to return to a sense of normalcy. They wanted to support their local businesses. They wanted to be together again. Eric's bar became a haven once more. The road to recovery was long and arduous, but Eric never gave up. He worked tirelessly to rebuild his business. He faced each challenge with courage and determination. He knew that he was stronger than he thought. Section nine, never giving up. Eric's story is a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope. His journey is a testament to the human spirit's ability to endure and thrive, even when the odds seem insurmountable. It's a story about the power of resilience, the importance of community, and how the support of those around us can make all the difference. When we come together, we can overcome any obstacle and the unwavering spirit of the human heart. This spirit drives us to push forward, to keep fighting, and to never lose sight of our goals, no matter how distant they may seem. Eric's journey teaches us that we are capable of overcoming incredible obstacles. Each step he took, each challenge he faced, brought him closer to his dreams. His story is a beacon of hope for anyone feeling lost or defeated. It reminds us to never give up on our dreams, to keep them alive in our hearts and minds. Writing down our goals, visualizing our success, and taking consistent action are key steps in turning our dreams into reality. 
no matter how impossible they may seem. The horizon may look far, but with determination and perseverance, we can reach it. Every small victory brings us closer to our ultimate goal. Life is full of challenges. These challenges test our resolve and our strength. They push us to our limits and force us to grow in ways we never imagined. We all face setbacks.